again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the EBL brand. You can see right under the brand. This is their USB rechargeable, their 9 volt physical size battery. It's an 8.4 volt. Uh, it's a lithium battery. It has 5,400 milliwatt hours or about 658 milliamp hours per battery which is pretty comparable to a typical 9 volt battery whether it's alkaline or other chargeable now this is long lasting as is lithium ion so it has a much better voltage curve than nickel metal hydride it will maintain that voltage for a longer time this is a four pack comes a little instruction book that the company uh, EBL provides a one-year warranty on these batteries, which is great. Now these quick charge in about two hours, and it comes with this included charger, and it's really cool how to do this. It's, you look at the back of the, right there, there's a little charging port, and you put this to a USB port, preferably a two amp port, and let's give this a try just to show you how this works. I'm just take this right here and plug it into the port like that and then what happens is you get a little red indicator right there and that'll turn totally to green and that's simple as that and you can do all four at a time or you can just do one at a time so that's really simple to charge them now I got I just got done charging these batteries using this cable let's take a look at it. I want to measure the actual put it on the positive it's labeled right there and the negative right there so I'm getting 8.2 volts on the pack that's not bad now a lot of devices will work at that voltage like for instance this takes a 9 volt battery and I have one inside here from a previous purchase and it works just fine you could use these in most smoke detectors you just put them in there and you'll see that the smoke detector will come on and you'll have no problem uh, 8.4 is the average voltage uh, that a lot of units use there might be some devices that require full 9 volts but most of them don't and the power curve of this it'll stay at 8.2 8.3 8.4 and it'll stay at that for a really long time and then it'll drop past that. But you're gonna get that full 5,400 milliwatt hours out of this at a pretty uh, linear level. Uh, nickel metal hydrate versions of these I've used before and they just don't work that well. One of the features about this battery is that um, it doesn't have any memory effect like a nickel metal hydrate. So you're gonna get that steady voltage throughout the use of that uh, 658 milliamp that I mentioned. And what's really cool is you can recharge these up to 1200 cycles. And as you cycle them the first five or six times, you'll get the maximum benefit of using them because right now they're brand new. But you could cycle these 1200 times. And just imagine you buy one alkaline battery for $2, that's $2,400 right there. So this is gonna save you a ton of money because you essentially have four of these for a really good price. So you can't go wrong with these. They work really well. I tested them and you know, you're going to save a lot of money. You could use this in not only smoke alarms, wireless microphones, toys, GPS devices, home security devices, medical devices sometimes use it. And as I pointed out, you could also use it for voltmeters. I have a lot of voltmeters that use this type of battery. So, so you're not limited to using USB charging ports. Here I'm using a solar power bank and I could charge all four batteries. So if I'm camping or something, I can keep my 9 volt battery charged by the solar bank. Anything that has a USB in there, that could be a laptop, your PC, uh, power bank as I'm showing, anything is gonna charge these batteries. And that's what's unique about this micro USB port on here. No other battery has that. Normally you gotta charge from the front here using these, and that's a really big charger. This is so sleek and it works really well. So here's an example. I've got this light meter that I normally keep replacing the batteries because it draws energy even when you're not using it just to keep pushing the button there to have it ready. And here the battery fits perfectly in the profile. It allow allows me to essentially save a lot of money by putting that battery in there and not buying constantly these alkaline batteries. 
Here's another example. Here's the mirror I was using before. And I want to show you that it fits the profile. It fits in this perfectly. And uh, wherever your 9 volt battery normally is, you could put the EBL battery in there. And then don't have to worry about replacing those batteries and just keep them charged. Saves you a lot of money. So here I'm using it in a carbon monoxide and smoke detector. And I had it in here for about eight months and it's still working. And once it starts chirping that it needs the battery changed, I will just take the battery out, charge it for two hours, put it back in, and we'll be all set. So here I'm running a little experiment. I have the EBL battery hooked up to a load and staying at about 8 volts, 174 milliamps I've been drawing for a long time now and I did a calculation so it is putting out that milliamp hour rating that the battery is the 5400 milliwatt hours so that's a good sign so it keeps the voltage relatively constant as it's drawing the current and that's what you want that's what makes these batteries unique so after using these batteries and testing them out what I think about the EBL, they're USB rechargeable, they're 9 volt size, they're 8.4 volts on an average coming out of them, but they're lithium ion batteries inside here, about 658 milliamp hours each. This is a four pack, comes with a charging cable that allows you to do all four at one time. Really a cool product. So I'm going to give this great product a full five star rating. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you learn the new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helped you with your buying decision. Thanks for watching.